Pennsylvania League of Angling Youth, Spring 2016, Trout Training, written by Alan Schreffler and Walt Dietz. Editor, Spring Gearhart. Design and Illustrations, Andrea Feeney. Photos by Amity Daniel, Jeff Decker, Andrew Fedor, D. Fisher, Spring Gearhart, Terry Malloy, Curtis Miller, Carl Richardson, Alan Schreffler, and Andrew Shields. Read by Walt Dietz. Trout Training. Trout fishing is a great way to spend time outdoors with your family and friends. Spring is one of the best seasons for trout fishing. During the spring trout fishing season, air temperature and water temperature start to rise, and anglers are eager to get outside for some healthy exercise after the winter. There are plenty of trout lurking in Pennsylvania's waterways during the spring. Trout are one of Pennsylvania's most popular sport fishes. Sometimes trout cooperate and are easy to catch, while other times trout fishing can be more challenging. A little knowledge goes a long way. Let's take a deeper look at trout fishing. Finding trout waters. Pennsylvania provides many options for trout anglers, including stock lakes and small native tree streams. Sometimes the biggest problem is trying to figure out where you want to go fishing. The information below will help you decide where to fish for trout. Pennsylvania's Best Fishing Waters Visit www.pabestfishing.com to find the best places to fish in Pennsylvania. This webpage makes it easy to find waterways with public access and higher catch rates. The categories include wild and stocked trout. Just pick your favorite trout fishing spot and enjoy. Stock trout waters. Are you looking to find a local stock stream or lake? Check out the Pennsylvania Fishing Summary at fishinpa.com or visit the stocking schedule at www.fishandboat.com. The Pennsylvania Fishing Summary provides a list of stocked trout waters. The online stocking schedule provides information on where the sections of stocked trout waters are located, when they will be stocked, and what type of trout are stocked. Do you want to chase wild trout? Look through our Class A wild trout list at www.fishandboat.com forward slash waters underline trout dot htm. These streams support a population of naturally producing trout, which can help maintain long-term sport fishing. The list is updated as new streams are added, which will help provide you with a lifetime of memories. Interactive County Maps While online, be sure to visit our Interactive Maps page at www.fishandboat.com forward slash county .htm. This web page provides an easy way to view the stream sections on a map, which will help you plan your next fishing trip. Know your trout fit. Fly and spin fishing outfits have the same parts, but are designed to cast in two different ways. Take a look at each outfit below. What are some similarities and what are some differences? Fly fishing gear. The rod is longer, lighter, and flexible. The line is fly line braided, nylon coated with PVC and transparent leader system, capable of casting lightweight flies. The reel is a simple design that stores line, provides drag and counterbalances the long fly rod. Casting, the fly and leader are along for the ride as the fly line carries them to the intended target. And flies versus lures, flies, dry flies, nymphs, emergers or streamers are made with feathers, fur, thread, and other lightweight materials. Spin fishing gear, the rod, is shorter, heavier, 
and less flexible. The line is monofilament, a single strand of plastic line that is carried by heavier lures. The reel is an open spool with a bale or a closed spool with a trigger. Casting, the line is long for the ride as the weight of the lure carries the line through the guides to the intended target. And the flies versus lures? Well, natural bait or lures made with plastic, metal, wood, or other materials. Graphics include fly fishing gear, an image of a fly rod with a reel, handle, backing, rod, ferrules, fly line, and leader and fly. Spin fishing gear includes a handle, a reel seat, the bail, a reel, a hook keeper, guides, the blank, the rod tip, and the lure. Casting practice. Spinning gear, the open-faced reel. Hold your rod at waist level with the reel below the rod. Hook the line with your forefinger and open the bale. Pull the rod tip back to your shoulder and quickly bring it forward. Release the line with your finger as the rod comes forward. While pointing the rod tip at your target, watch the line peel off the reel. Closed faced reel. Hold your rod at waist level with the reel above the rod. Hold the bottom button and quickly bring the rod tip back. Pull the rod tip back to your shoulder and bring it forward. Release the button as the rod comes forward. While pointing the rod tip at your target, watch the line peel off the reel. Fly fishing gear. The overhead cast is two cast in one, a back and forward cast. Timing and rod speed determines how far you can cast. The back cast. Tension, strip your line off the reel and out of the tip of the rod. Hold your rod parallel to the ground at chest height with no slack in the fly line. Acceleration, lift the rod back and overhead moving your hand and rod upward. Stop. Come to an abrupt stop, which allows the rod to unload and create the loop that will carry your fly and send the line in the direction of your rod tip. Forward cast. The forward cast begins where the back cast ends. The abrupt stop overhead will send the fly line behind you and provide the tension to start the forward cast. To complete the cast, accelerate your hand and rod forward to the starting position, coming to an abrupt stop. The rod will unload and carry the line towards your target. Trout training, rig it right. Now that you know more about trout fishing, it's time to put it all together. Cut out each of the pieces of equipment and tackle below. Then create your own complete rig to match the conditions for each given spot on the waterway. Conditions to the right. There is no right or wrong answer, but some rigs may work better than others depending upon the waterway conditions. Waterway conditions include stream riffle, high water in early spring, quiet creek pool, low water in early summer, a fast deep run on a stream, an undercut bank on a stream, a deep pool on a stream, high water in the spring, a deep lake fishing from shoreline on the trout season opener, a deep lake trolling from a small power boat. Equipment and tackle cutout choices include the spoon, swivel, minnow crankbait, sliding egg sinker, streamer, Nymph, split shot sinker, fly line strike indicator, slip bobber, worm on a hook, a treble hook with pace bait, a bobber, a spinner, a dry fly, and a minnow on a hook. The two rod choices include spin fishing rod and a fly fishing rod. 
trout tactics on the fly. Flies are designed to imitate aquatic insects, bait fish, worms, and more. Most flies fit into three basic categories, nymphs, dry flies, and streamers. Nymphs are fish below the surface and represent the immature life stages of insects. Dry flies float on the water's surface and imitate adult aquatic insects. Streamers are fished under the surface and represent small fish and other swimming food. Match the hatch. Have you ever seen fish feeding off the water surface? Take time and observe what trout are eating. Just match the color and size of the insect to a dry fly in your box. No rising fish? Pull a rock from the water and look at the critters crawling on it. These insects are food for trout all year long. Pick a nymph from your box of similar size and color. Streamers are great because they can work in any water condition. Just tie one on and work it towards you. Or you can let the current take it and determine its direction. Trout tactics without a spin. Picking out a bait or lure to use with spin fishing gear does not have to be complicated. Some anglers keep it simple and fish live bait through a stream riffle. You can also dangle supermarket baits below a bobber from a lake shoreline. Other anglers prefer more active fishing with lures. Here's a simple guide to your spin fishing success. Natural bait. Collect your own or purchase bait at a local outdoor shop. Drift any of these baits with the current through a riffle or run to entice trout into a feeding frenzy. If the trout are in deep or fast water, add some weight. Rig the weight under a small bobber if you are fishing in still or slow water. Visit our Supermarket Baits webpage to learn more about baits that you can easily get from your home kitchen at www.fishandboat.com. Baits include worm bait, minnow baits, paste baits, and supermarket baits. Lures are available in many shapes, sizes, and colors. Keep a variety in your tackle box or vest for different water conditions. Cast at a slight angle upstream and retrieve drowned stream across the current. Lure examples include the spinner, the spoon, and the minnow crankbait.